Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the most epic spike in the history of MTG Finance. This is a card that went from 33 cents, 33 cents to $666. So there was one store vendor, once it was bought out, they relisted at $666. And that's the price. That was the price for about half an hour. The buyout happened within an hour. And it's interesting. So I picked a card. Again, I'm experimenting with the market right now. I picked a card that a lot of you, I hope I cannot be criticized for this card that I picked. Because when I picked Norwales, a lot of you are like, oh, I love Norwales. Why did you buy them out? Now I can't play Legacy, my Norwale collection. Oh, they're so cute. Well, I picked a card that you literally cannot play. So I don't want any complaints about it because I picked a card that on its face, it reads, if you don't play for Anti, which you're not allowed to play for it anymore, so it's banned and it will never come off the ban list, then you cannot play this card. Now, I did have a few copies of them and that's where my idea came up was obviously I wanted to buy a few copies before I um, went ahead and inspired, if I use that word loosely, inspired these speculators to go ahead and buy out the rest relist it at the new higher $666 price and that was crazy. So it's my challenge to all of you, can you do this better than I did? Because this card went up 200, almost 202,000%, not 202%, 202,000%. Again, it went from 33 cents to $666. Uh, and it's just a unique thing, it costs less than, I, cost less than seven dollars or ten dollars to do it definitely less than ten dollars shipping might have been a little bit more and i did it and i did it mainly because i picked a card that was even less playable than norwales and from homelands again the set that i really dislike homelands and i wanted to see how far i could push it how far i could push the envelope in terms of making a price spike within an hour now, I expected, you know, 2,000% would have been really good. 202%, that's a little bonkers crazy. Uh, you can do the math, um, and it's slightly less than that. But that's amazing. It is amazing what one dedicated buyer can do to the market. And, you know, I like TCG players. I mean, they do, they did a good job trying to prevent this, but it's still so easy to manipulate the market. Obviously, someone could also do this to dual lands. Uh, if they had a bigger bankroll, instead of buying each of these out, they could buy all the dual lands out if they had enough money. So it's always a danger. Um, as soon as someone with a huge, huge sum of money goes out and buys every underground C, it's pretty much over for Legacy. Underground seas are so expensive already, but I imagine someone spiking the price of underground sea even 200%, right? Not to say 202,000%. But it's kind of my challenge to you guys if you can do this better than I have. And, you know, it's just fun. It's a fun little exercise. It costs less than $10 to do. I'm probably going to send some to my Patreons uh, with the Narwhales, with the Coastal Falls, and uh, they like that type of stuff, right? So that's it. Bye, guys.